Uh, I'm in the... I want to get this done. So I finished my D&D game, which ended up... Uh, one of my, my uh, co-players uh, ended up as Doc had gotten in with a skunk. <sighs> so things kind of ended, really. <laughs> and before we ended, we were talking about... Uh, uh, cross or, or uh, uh, cross racial things. Like, we were talking about Asmars. I'm like, Asmars are like uh, celestials with human blood or humans with, that with celestial blood. Uh, but I, I, I'm not sure if, if something that's not a human would be called a half Asmar. Anyways, where were we? We were we were going to uh, get through a bunch of cutscenes. I Here we go. This is all cutscenes. I'm just going to mute myself because I think they're all verbal. I'll let me mute myself if I need to read things. Oh, no, I do. Oh, no. Essicos. Is it really you? Oh, Tataru, baby. I'm I'm so happy that you're are. <laughs> I watch. I tried contacting the men Philly and the others, but no one would respond. And then Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Flamin told me to run, and so I did. I ran and ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached. But I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I observed one of the graves uh, behaving suspiciously beforehand. Yigiri. Hmm. Ah, yes, my mask. Lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Anyway, after Yigri found me, we traveled to Vespa Bay and met up with Orange. When we, were t we told him what happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the awakened sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. The transformation didn't take long either. Apparently, Orange started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh, yes. So we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. My people are searching for the other scions, even as we speak, but we have have met with no success as of yet. I had hoped you might, might be able to suggest further places to look. Uh, but, you know, the Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good fortune. Mm, only Crystal Braves await you there. Be that as it may, we... We yet have have cause for hope. And do we not? If the two of you escaped, it is not po impossible that the others could have done so as well. You may have, have been forsaken for men and women believe, believe true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay your debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the signs si safely restored to their rightful place of honor. Tis all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. 
And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Oh, yes. I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored. And sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. Which was all but a means to feed my own vanity. Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? I love Horshafon. I One of the things I really like about this is the fact that he did not have a servant come and bring those beverages. He brought them himself. Of course, he could have also just said, no one, no one, absolutely no one is to enter this intercessory unless I approve. And I, of course, being one of those, so I would definitely approve myself. So he, he take up this what i really take from this act it's a very small act uh, in for all intents and purposes uh is that he was like i'm going to bring i am going to bring them some hot beverages make sure they're nice and warm cozy that they are comfortable and he's being super hospitable also, because of the acts that I had done as uh, previously, a while ago, everything I did to, to, to clear Francel's um, name, I forgot what his, what his house was. Um, and just my interaction with Horse for Font is just, I proved to him that I could be a good person good friend good good everything so i he's and he's really taken that to heart um considering all of uh uh corthus western highlands uh, western no central highlands um in wiper in front we've got drillamont drillamont ends up being friend not as much as horse font i think horse font uh ends up probably being like uh, the biggest friend the the main friend of, of all of them but if you showed up Drillamont would be welcoming and everything but would he be this, act the same that Horshafon is of course Horshafon is like right here place with the eighth right uh right next to uh although I almost think that Dragonhead and Whitebird Front are probably about equal equidistance from the Gates of Judgment but I think this might be closer but this is kind of the central hub, so we had, we didn't we haven't gotten that much into it. Um, there is some story which deals with kind of like how we really have gotten Drillamont's uh, respect, but Horsefront we didn't haven't just gotten respect. Uh, he's become a friend. He will do stuff for us. Out of the goodness of his own heart. He's just a good, good person. So I love Horse for Fun. I'm usually not a fan of elves, which elves in are essentially the elves of Final Fantasy. But a lot of Final Fantasy has gotten me to, to cool on elves a bit, except like in other games. <laughs> I'm still not a fan of elves and, and anything else. But elves are fine. 
I won't play an Elzin. I don't like Elzin because they're too skinny. Um, the only skinny ones that I that I, I'm willing to play are Lollafels. <laughs> the rest are eh. anyways. But just just this act of bringing hot beverages himself instead of sending somebody else, because he may not have been making these comments if he had just sent a servant to go deliver it to his companion so that he could continue running Dragonhead. But instead, he brought himself. So I found that as very... I find, find that as a, a very interesting and friendly um, action. Okay, I really appreciate that for him and it really shows how much he is willing to help and care about this it's that he's going to take care of this so much like he wants to make sure that this is secure he's going to take those beverages and no one else not even a servant anyways after i do that i find out i need to use the restroom really bad so i'm gonna be right back even though i've only been live for like 10 minutes Bring back. What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? purpose then then we shall go to Ishgard Minfilia told me many times as long as we stand fast against despair the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight be it in the snow or in the clouds we few will see that the dawn's light shines again <laughs>
You are right, Totoro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. Okay, I'm skipping the credits. <laughs> The old fire in that bull's eyes. Wow, the essence. That Marbrea. There's Litibus. Marbrea, this is no more. The ardors was not his to invoke. His demise was his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns. They have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Mayhap he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The Northern Lands, then. The earth is fertile and the seeds well sown. By my will they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will. I have answered thy summons, emissary. Speak and make thine intent known. I would speak of fate, Archon. Yours, mine, is the fate of this very star. Arr?
Locust Sanctuary lieth beyond. Delusion. Despair. Death. Thou shalt find naught else here. I cut off his long ear. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope and eyes fixed heavensward. Guess what? We've hit heaven's word. Speaking of that. So hopefully this next quest will give me a lot more XP. 96,000 instead of 4,800. I might hit 60 soon. That fraction is good. Anyways. The dawn's light will shine again. And of course, because we're in a new expansion, Alpha No gets an entirely different voice actor. <laughs> it is no longer Sam Regal, who is, is currently famous for Emmy, Emmy Award winning <laughs> voice actor. <laughs> Not for a voice acting, I think it was voice directing, but still. Uh, <laughs> winning for Sam Regal. Um, did the voice in in a realm reward in heaven's word onward it is this guy who i forget what his name i think it's like colin something um took me a while to get used to because i was so used to the sam and me being a huge fan of critical role sam just like was great uh but um it, it, i got used to it uh i am going to say because uh talus and jaffe did uh the voice of Thancred. He only did that in the <laughs> realm board as well. Also, the guy who does the voice of Orange in a realm board does the voice of Lothamar Theron in WoW. But he doesn't do it afterwards, from my understanding. So, which all of this I'm kind of disappointed in because these are people that I know and enjoy. However, uh, I have gotten used to this and I actually kind of like it i think it is actually a little bit better after i've gotten used to his voice being that way so long as we have these specious accusations hanging over us we will struggle to achieve anything you must go to ishgard as tataru proposed i will return to uldar and set things right Pray, do not be so hasty, Master Elfino. Lord Orchifon. Full well do I understand your desire to clear your names. But now is not the time for drastic action. You yet have allies upon whom you can rely. There is no need to act alone. Yes. Yes, of course. Pray forgive my impatience. I bring tidings. Count Edmont has decreed that the three of you be taken in as wards of House Fort Arm. Under our patronage, you shall be granted access to the city proper. Pray, consider our manor your new headquarters, from which you may gather information and plan how best to proceed. Needless to say, should any of your missing allies be found, as I am certain they shall, they will of course be welcome to join you there.
You are more than generous, my friend. On behalf of my fellows, I humbly accept your offer of hospitality. Yay. The Count is a good man and just. He will treat you with the kindness and respect that a hero and dear friend deserves. To Ishgard then, together. There we shall carry on the Scion's legacy. There we shall begin anew. Here, here. Also, I think Tataru's voice actor changed. But we never really heard Tataru very much in the Realm Reborn. Also, new quest accept is very uh, uh, Catholic sounding. Uh, it's the, 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 the organ. I must go at him head and speak with the Count. Fear not, however, for everything has been arranged. The sentry said the gates of judgment have been informed of our decision. You need to state your, you need but state your names and they will allow you to pass. By the way, I've got the air conditioner on. Unfortunately, my air conditioner is rather loud, so I apologize for that if you hear it. I'm not even sure if you do. I put on noise things to hopefully prevent it from happening anyways and they will allow you to pass my man service shall be waiting for you at the city gates ready to escort you to our manor where you sh we shall meet again until then All right, so we're going to get into Ishgard because right now, because I finished before the dawn and then started Heaven's Word, I now have my class quest. But before I do do my class quest, I'm going to get into Ishgard, get settled in, and then I'm going to start doing those as well as unlocking the Astrologian, or Astrologian as I like to say it, or Ast, A-S-T, because that's a short name. Um... Uh, because that is going to be my healer. I'm going to want to have healer, tank, technically ranged in the uh, ranged in magic and ranged physical. Just because I want to have at least one of those for, for reasons. It's because I'm crazy. Um, it's, it, the tank and healer is actually kind of important because um, I want to also use them for some of my roulettes will help with a few things. And also, if I can get them up to a, a an appropriate level, uh, I can use those classes to get cues faster uh, in here. So it's one of the reasons. If I get a tank, the tank that I will be the uh, I'm planning to get is the Gunbreaker one, which starts at 60, which will be very helpful considering my max character right now is 60. Um, so I can easily use the tank at any time. The issue comes in with the healer because that's going to start at 30, so I'm going to have to level them offline, uh, up offline and kind of do a, do a huge focus and try to keep my main, which will be uh, Monk, just because I'm very comfortable with Monk. I'm super comfortable with Monk. If I can't get a fast queue, I'm going to utilize those other ones for good measure. Especially when I'm streaming. I don't want to be kind of waiting around for stuff, so. Uh, what's of House for Tong? Uh, yes, you may pass. Cinematic. And so they came, at a friend's behest. Heroes once celebrated as saviors of Eorzea, brought low through treachery. 
their names blackened with royal blood. With memories of the lost and dreams of redemption, with hope yet in their hearts, they came. To Ishgard, shining city on the mount, overlooking the dominion of Kurthus. A great and proud nation, devoted to Halone, the Fury, ruled by Thordin VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. The last bastion of the faith her walls ever bristling with the sworn swords and spears of her four high houses. A land that after a thousand years of war had forgotten what it was to be at peace. Through gates long closed, the warrior of light and his companions passed, entering at last a city whose history was written in blood. In the midst of the Dragonsong War they came, three weary travelers whose arrival would set in motion great change. Though none knew then how great. In memories of Count Edmund de Fortetong, Evans Ward. <laughs> Greetings, Master Winsmore, for on behalf of House Fortetong, I bid you welcome to Ishgard. My lord humbly requests your presence as res residents in the pistons. If you all would come with me. Okay, first and foremost, whenever you arrive in one of these new big cities, the big thing to do, the one thing you should always do, there should be no reason why you don't do it. It's the first thing you hear, attuned to the freaking eighth right. You want to be able to teleport back here. Here's the second thing you should do, but probably don't need to do right away, and that's get all the uh, get all the etheret shards. There are four here, or three in foundation. They end up being very important. So you're basically going to give yourself a uh, tour. Uh, I use this shard so much on my main character. And the other two are... Actually... Right? Does this go upstairs? This goes upstairs. Wait, where am I? Uh -huh. Okay. I I actually think there's a quest which gives you a uh, tour. But the, the quest actually goes faster by attuning to all the Aetherite shards, or Aetherite shards. Um, 
the next one. I'm not going to show this, uh, I'm not going to show this, Yeah, it has me go somewhere else. I'll take care of it later. Because the important parts when it comes to to the stream are the main story quest, and I'm gonna do, and I'm also gonna emphasize on my my main class, which in this case is monk.
If you tune your Ethernet access to the all Ethernet shards in Ishgard, the Gates of Judgment is now accessible as an Ethernet destination. But it'll take me to the Cortis Central Highlands. Alright, we're going to the last vigil. Is that the closest to the Ethernet shard to House for Tom, which we actually passed, but I was collecting all those. We are glad his brave companions walk in the streets of Ishgard at last. What a glorious sight. I cannot tell you how long we've been waiting for this day. Allow me to present my family home, poor tall Manon. I should like nothing more than to show you around, but everyone is gathered to receive you. Come, my friends, introductions must be made. My lord, I have returned with the Scions. I hope your journey was not too taxing. By the way, do you recognize that voice? That voice is the same voice which uh, uh, spoke as we entered Ishgard. He is essentially the narrator of Heaven's Word. So frequently, especially when we go into new zones, we will get this point where there's a narrator uh, basically like someone's reading something from a book. It is Count Edmund de Fauton. So, I didn't realize that right away the first time I went through this, uh, but I found that after I realized it, I'm like, oh, and we get to see the full cycle, and I find that so enthralling for some reason to me. Also, I like his voice. I, Count Edmond de Fortomp, do bid you welcome. As wards of House Fortomp, you shall be afforded every courtesy. My home is your home. My companions and I are deeply honored, Count Fortin. The honor is mine, Master Alfino. Consider it an expression of our gratitude for your service to Ishgard. Forgive me, my lord, but are you not concerned? To accept foreign guests at such a juncture, especially ones with our reputation do not worry yourself on my account tis true that ishgard's first thought has ever been the war effort hence the closing of our borders yet it is in troubled times most of all that men should seek allies don't you think granted my decision will have raised eyebrows in the vault and in the halls of the other high houses but so long as you continue with your altruistic endeavors, I doubt my honored peers will feel moved to voice their concerns. Then there is naught to fear. Though our numbers are much reduced, we are no less determined to carry on our work. Full glad am I to hear it. Uh, but before you return to your labors, why not take a tour of the city? You would do well, I think, to acquaint yourselves with your new surroundings. After all, you may be here for some time. The expansion made the expansion's main city is Ishgard. So, of course, you probably want to take a tour. This is the in-story version of basically... Yeah. <laughs> You're going to be here for an entire expansion. <laughs> you should probably know your way around. I thought it was mine to uh, learn more about Ishgard. Well, our friends in House for Tom has been generous enough to extend us their protection. We must take care not to impose too much on their, their hospitality. 
It is only proper that we learn about our new home so that we might become more self-sufficient. It'll take a while to learn the lay of the land, but learn it we must. Then there are the markets and the taverns. We need to know where to shop and where to hear small talk. It would seem a tour of the city is indeed in order. I thank you for your counsel, my lord. My companions and I shall, of course, do as you suggest. Very good, then my manservant shall accompany you. He will be able to uh, answer your questions you might have. Ah, but I grow forgetful of my dotage. In my dotage, there is something I must give you ere you depart. The documentation is ordered, I trust? Yes, my lord. These documents identify you as wards of House for Tom. Given that our borders have remained closed for decades, many of my countrymen are accustomed to treating with foreigners. Should anyone happen to question your presence here, it may prove necessary to remind them that you remain under the protection of House for Tom, and let us hope it shall but let us hope that it shall not come to that. Rest assured, we shall do our utmost to avoid any situation that might compel us to invoke your name. Essigos, Tataru, the city awaits. Let's go. All right, pause on the main story quest now that we've basically established our thing, got our documentation and everything. Let us uh, switch over to monk stuff. We're going back to uh, Old Ah. I don't think we're here for very really long, so. Back to Eric. He was giving us the, the quest previously. It is possible that as we do the monk quests, uh, we will hit level 60. Before we even hit the level 60 quest. Plus, I'm in Ishgard now. I need to change your uniform. Ah, Esigos, uh, your sense of time is impeccable as ever. A pity your mind is never... So Never so reliable. Worry not for the task I would have you perform, which tasks your limited intellect. I per uh, it pertains to your monk friend, Wittergeld. This scarce comes as no surprise, but my my words of wisdom have struck a chord in the oath. Having been made to realize that there is more to life than vengeance, he now expends his energies in more constructive pursuits, namely rebuilding his order, the Fist of Ralgar. Indeed, he is ta taken on pupils, and rumor has it he teaches with both charisma and zeal. Plainly, my own bit brilliance as a tutor has rubbed off on him. And what is this task I would have you do? Take more readings from my atheometer, uh, you are doubtless thinking. False. You, of all people, should know that I am finished with that research. And such a triumph it was. To be sure, I maybe need your talents for field work again in the future. For now, however, I simply wish for you to go and see how Wittergelt affairs. Unless you know know that I worry about the f fool perish. Unless you think that I worry about the fool perish the thought. As a brother of the p path, you will be worried about him. Though I, it may not have occurred to you yet. And so I've taken the liberty of telling you what you must do to alleviate that worry. Oh, who's thinking about me? We're going to go train his pupils at Ronan's Toll. With that, you have all the information you need. Off you go, then.
Look at that. Look at that outfit. It looks good. Winter guilt. Look great. That's a ghost. It's been a while, brother. What brings you here? Blah, 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 blah. Does the professor say, uh, send, so the professor send you and it matters not why, why you came. I'm glad for your visit. Indeed, I have begun teaching. I deserve to preserve your, I desire to preserve our way to impart our art to a new generation, though I myself still have much to learn. I have but few pupils now, but slowly the numbers grow. I will introduce some of you, two girls who will show great promise. Perhaps you will assist in their training. Desensa, uh, Otachka. Was it Master Wiedergeld? Has some someone new joined? No, not a new people, an old one. My first and foremost. He has long surpassed me. Essegos is his name. Today he will you will train under his supervision. An excellent opportunity. Go to the usual place and make ready. Ah, I've always wanted to have a senior. See you in a bit, Essegos. Zetsa, Zetsa, wait! Please excuse Zetsa. She forgets herself sometimes, but she has a good cart. She'll be, you shall be honored with your for your watchful gaze, as it goes. These two have abandoned by their parents. One day they came and begged me to teach them. They were very dedicated. Very, very quickly do they learn. Every day is fulfilling. But come, let us go to the training ground. Meet me southeast of Revenant's Toll. Wasn't this where we trained before? Or did the thing before? We have no dedicated in place for practice, no halls of our own. My pupils train wherever they can. First, I would have you demonstrate your abilities to Desenta. She uh, awaits you in the northeast. I've been waiting for you, Master. Thanks very highly, but you... But you'd better not disappoint. I didn't even do a full rotation. Let me talk to her again. Wow, you really are strong. And there I was uh, feeling good about myself. The world's a big, big old, old place, isn't it? So you're going to demonstrate for T'Chaka uh, next. I think I actually pronounced that right. Yeah, she's going to be so impressed. We've been together all our lives. In case you're wondering, we can read each other's thoughts as though they were our own. Come on, I'll take you, take you to her. She'll be over to the south. I've been eagerly awaiting your coming to Master Asikos. Senta tells me that I'm in it for a treat, but I mustn't so much as beat the bat an eyelid. My heart races in anticipation for your demonstration. Please begin whenever you're ready.
I think I can gain some lag. You're every bit as amazing as Zeta claimed you would be, even though Master said, said so himself. I didn't believe that anyone could be stronger than him. See? You impressed the bridges off her, just like I said you would. Oh, Zenta. Zensa. I've never been so excited. I wish to learn everything Master Asagos knows. Everything! Me too, Chachaka! With his help, with his help, we're bound to become stronger than we'd ever dared hope. Growing up on, on our own, Zenta, Zensa and I suffered much because we were weak and I couldn't protect ourselves. And so we swore to one another we would become strong. If we could be as strong as you, it would be not, there, there would be not we need to fear. So we're wondering about the applicant. So I've been wondering about the applications of Four Point Fury. Who are you? What do you want? That was Master Wittergelt. You... you have not come to harm? We're fine, Master. It's you that we're worried about. What happened? Strangers came. They attacked without warning. The techniques they used were the same as ours. Same as ours? You mean to say they were monks? But I thought there were no others besides ourselves. I alone survived the massacre at the temple. There should be no... Ah, the sensation. A new power swells within me as though a new chakra is opened, yet... Is unlike not I have felt before. Chaka, this area has the site of some famous battle, isn't it? Yes, it was. The Battle of Silver Tear Skies, which means that one chakra can be opened here. Judging by Master's condition, however, I'm inclined to think that something else was the cause. Let us return to Revenant's Toll. I must rest. The fun part is, I will be able to go through the full monk story before I actually do the heavens story. <laughs> I'm feeling better. The pain has subsided. They came shortly after you left. Mass you fight as we do. They were monks. Of this, I am certain. They outnumbered me. I held them off, but a sudden pain racked my body as though I was pierced through. I fell to my knees. And next I was aware my assailants were gone, most likely fled when they heard your coming. The sensation I felt, it's not unlike a chakra opening, but neither is it the seventh chakra. If it isn't the seventh chakra, then what could, could it possibly be? I don't know. I must ask someone more learned than me. Professor Eric, he is versed in the history of our, our order. Perhaps he can find more information. Desenta Otaka, return to your chief. Otachaka? Esgos is maybe a new source of power. If so, I shall share its secrets with you. If I learn something, something I will let you know. The next monk quest will be available from Wintergalt upon reaching level 52. I'm 59. <laughs> hey, I'll get a new skill. I will say this, this is one of those things where it's like an ability which it's it's hard to figure out when where to actually use this or to how to actually use this. Like I'm so used to rotate the, the rotation that like going out of the rotation is weird. So I can never I I, mean, I have trouble figuring out when to be actually use this, but I just never use it. Those people who optimize, who do everything like perfect are, you know, power players. They probably use this button. I never do because I never, it, even if I use it, I kind of don't know what I'm using it for um, or what reason to use it for. So I just don't. Uh, I'm going to take off my headset because I'm still kind of warm even though I got my air conditioner on.
feeling more comfortable. That's okay. I don't need to hear anything. Um, I, I can still hear things, actually. Turn up the volume on it. Just make sure I can. I can. Me turning up the volume on my headset doesn't actually affect anything from you guys, so... What's that? That's a, that's a personal thing. How come when I look at this in the light, it looks like I have a little gray hair here, which I don't. Anyways, moving on. Greetings, brother. It's good to see you come again. After our last visit, I told Professor Eric of my experience. I have not heard from him since. I wonder if he's forgotten he's a busy man. But never mind that for now. You are here. Perhaps you can help my pupils train again. The Zenta, Zenta and uh, Tchaka are impressed by uh, by you. They spoke of your proudness in, to their peers. Now, now they all want you to teach them. My pupils are training to the west. Let us go there. Also, because these are doing higher level quests, I'm going to get more XP for them, <laughs> which means I'm more likely to hit something. Uh, to the west, which is this way. And you go west in order to go west. Here's one of mine. He's been badly beaten. Who did this? Ugh. They were monks, like us. The same villains who attacked me. This is an outrage. They must be made made to pay. With me, brother. We cannot be far. Oh, well, I fell. They are the ones, brother. But there is, there are more large. I saw them scurry away. See, see to this lot. I will continue giving chase. There he goes, brother. We almost have them. <laughs> he just leaves me. Like, you take these three. Oh. Yeah, that was easy. Again, level 59. Beware, I suppose. These two are not what they seem. We had stayed too long. Any longer, we wouldn't have had to have had a place to return to. We seek your forgiveness for what we do, but it is, on, it is the only life we know. And if you don't return to it now, there is nothing left for us. 
Please understand, we have no other choice. And now, prepare yourselves. It's power surging within. Another chakra, but how? Oh. That's it for today. We're sparing you, but know that it isn't out of pity. We need you. That's all. What do you mean? Yours is a sect of light, and our own shadow. We are two sides of the same coin. That said, you disciples of light are not but fodder for us. You exist solely to nourish shadow. Wait! An intermingling desperate ether uh, opens to other chakras, something. I don't know. I missed it. You saw it, it was up there. Some gobbledygook to explain why I can, uh, uh, after completing this quest, I no, form shift. <laughs> An ability which I just never use. A new chakra is open within me, as it did before. It is the same for you, yes? The two girls, the way they harness energy differs from us. It must be the way that they're set. I have great hopes I had great hopes for them. Their betrayal saddened me, but there is no time for lamentation. This sect of shadow, I knew not of its existence. It's quite it's a great surprise. We must learn all we can of them. The new chakra is open within us. How it happened, I don't, I know not. But you have newfound power and you must master it. A button I will probably never press, so I'm just leaving it where it is on the bar. Rudigal has uh, urgent tidings for you. Let's go. Letter has arrived. It comes from D. Zensa and O. Tichaka. They would speak with us. They bid us c come to Dalmud's towns. What their agenda is, I know not, but I would ask them questions of my own. Professor Eric also sent word. He has learned of the sect of Shadow. Soon he will come to share his knowledge, but before I see him, I would see my former pupils. I wish to believe in them. They are good at heart, but this I am certain. Come, brother. Go to Dalmud's Talents. Where's that? It's in Northern Taiwan. Goody! Proceed. Sink to 56. Hopefully my gear will stand to this because I'm nowhere near 56 in gear. It's been a while. You two look well. Thanks for coming. And for what it's worth, we're sorry that we deceived you. No, that is for the benefit of both of our sects that we fight. The other day, when you fended off our fellow disciples of Shadow, a new chakra opened within you, didn't, did it not? Yet the sensation was unlike aught you have felt before. That's because you opened a chakra but belonging to our aspect, the aspect of Shadow. The opposite also applies, of course. Fighting a discipline of, our, of your sect allows us to open the chakra uh, belonging to this aspect of light. Aspects of light and shadow? Is this the way of it? Then why must we fight? Why can we not cooperate? 
My master forbids it, I'm afraid. Our true mask, that is. If truth be, be told, we sh shouldn't even be speaking with you. We're not permitted to exchange words, only blows. You leave us no choice. Come, brother, we will give them the exchange they desire. You take the one on the left, I'll take the one on the right. My chakra has opened, as precisely as Master described. Yes, I feel the power surge with me, but if we're to become stronger, if we're to open any more chakra, we must throw ourselves against far fiercer struggles, the kind where lives are on the line. So long as we can, we are, you are disciplined to light, we will continue to come for you, over and over. It cannot end until one side falls, never to rise again. And that's the reason we called you here. We don't want to hurt you. So please, give up being a monk. Give up any notion of rebuilding the Fist of Falger and go somewhere far, far away. Wait. It would have me stop being a monk? The is telling me to stop breathing. Many revelations uh, have have many revelations have there been this day. The existence of opposing sex and of chakra. This is not the least of all. We must learn more of it. The professor will soon arrive at Revenant's toll. Perhaps he can enlighten us. Thank you for coming, Professor. The information I requested, were you able to find it? Of course I was, you incurable dolt. Elsewhere, I would have, wouldn't have bothered to, to come all the way to this backwater. Now then, I have many demands on my time, so I shall convey my findings to you at once, in the most concise possible manner. Ahem. Now, it is common knowledge that the Fist of Rog rose to the zenith in its po of its power by virtue of royal endorsement. Lesser known is the dispute which broke out over its arrangement between two factions within the Fist, the Sect of Light and the Sect of Shadow. The head priest of the Sect of Light believed that an alliance with the Royal House of Alamigo was the key to prosperity. However, his counterpart in the Sect of Shadow disagreed, warning that it would lead to their undoing. History have proven them both right, but I digress. Yes, unsurprisingly, the disciples of the, each sect rallied in their to their respective leader's side. The two factions clashed with with words and fists both. In the end, the Sect of Light prevailed, the alliance with the Royal House was sealed, and all members of the Sect of Shadow were banished from the Order. But in the past, the two sects both belonged to the Fist of Ralgar, and their disciples trained beside 
know one another as comrades, and yet, though the techniques they employed are identical, the manner in which they harness energy are opposed in nature. It was this difference which gave, gave rise to two aspects of chakra. There is a tradition where monks would, from the two schools would meet each other in single combat. In attacking you, I, dis I posit that the disciples of shadow are seeking to recreate this tradition. This clashing of light and shadow quickened the ether within, causing a chakra of the opposing aspect to open within them. In simple terms of your simple minds, disciplines of light fought to open shadow chakra, and disciplines of shadow fought to open light chakra. And the implications of this, there's, there are not seven, but fourteen chakra all told. Yes, yes, two sides of the same coin. Where there's light, there's shadow. And all that poetic trait. One thing I do not understand, Professor. Why can our sex not cooperate? Why must the sh disciples of Shadow attack like common brigands? A feud caused a rift between the two sects. Who's to say there isn't a feud still? I suspect only a member of the sect of Shadow can tell you the truth. But now I must be off. I shall inquire further into the matter of my spare time. If you have aught else, you know where to find me. must speak with D. Zensa and O. Tchaka again. Again, I will try to track them down. As for you, Esagos, another chakra is opened within us. We must focus on mastering this new power. This... Not... As often at the moment, I get a new gauge. Put this where perfect balance was. Peter Galt has uh, acquired information on Otachaka's. His whereabouts and mature with you. Eskos finally have information on Otachaka. She is near Eugenia's spire in the North Shroud. I need to confront her to demand the truth from her. She and these Zensa do not act of their own free will. Of this I am certain. Nay, something has a hold over them. We will find out what it is. Come, brother, we go to the North Shroud quickly while the trail is still fresh. North Shroud. Right? Oh. Oh. We found her like this. What has happened? Where did you go, Tenesicos? Rest assured, my injuries are not serious. Zensa held back. The gods, I feel like such a fool. No matter what he asked of us, we always did, did it without question. In doing so, we thought we would survive. But in the end, he commanded us to fight each other to the death to open our Shraka. Fight to the death? Who commanded this? Who? Who else but a master? Uh, Araha, Araha Dia, Dia is his name, and he leads the sect of Shadow. But more than that, he is a father figure to Zensa and me. With our own parents abandoning us, Master Araha Tia, Tia took us in and raised us. Uh, we always strove to please him lest we lose our place. And today he ma made our worth to him abundantly cleared. We are not his friends, not let alone his family. Nay, we were not but tools to be used and discarded. When we fought, Zensa thrust me off the cliff. She made it appear an accident that I alone might flee. But I cannot flee while Zensa is still at her master's mercy. 
must rescue her before she decides that she is no longer useful. If you know it's good for you, you will uh, put many moms between yourselves in this place. Master is doubtless to send people to verify my death. Oh, Chichaka, wait! Let us help you! You would help us? After all the wrongs we have committed against you? Why? I once lusted for power. I stopped at nothing to obtain it. I used Estigas. I betrayed him. Worse, I tried to kill him. I repented. I started anew. Now someone is making the same mistake as me, I cannot ignore it. Nor can I ignore those who suffer from it. But above all, my peoples are in trouble. I would help them. It is what a master should do. Oh, what a guilt. I will go with Otachaka to the hedge tree. See that no one follows. Join us when the air yes safe. It is safe here. We will speak freely. You may speak freely. There is much I do not know. Please tell me everything. In the beginning, members of the Fist of Ralgar strove to open all 14 chakra, seven of light and seven of shadow. Those who opened all seven of their native chakra were permitted to duel those who would achieve the same in the opposing sect. For generations, such duels were held in great secrecy. But that ended with the massacre at the Temple of the Fist when the Sect of Light was extinguished. And though the Sect of Shadow survived by virtue of its obscurity, its disciples lost the means to open Light Chakra. That is, until Master Haraha uh, Tia uh, learned of the sole survivor of the massacre, you Wittergelt. And that was how Zenta and I came to you. Our Master taught us that the Disciples of Light were but a means to an end. A resource to be used. He ingrained in us the belief that our two sects must ever be at odds, but we took him at his word, fools that we were. I understand now how things were in the past, how they were, are in the present. More importantly, I know that light and shadow formerly as one, but it may yet be so again. I will speak with Master Horatia, convince him that our schools need not fight. Together, we can rebuild our proud order. I'm afraid he will not be so easily swayed, and should it come to blows, as I fear it will, know that the, his strength far surpasses passes ours. He is the only person alive who has opened all 14 chakra. Recently, I focused on opening light chakra of my own aspect. In my own aspect, I have succeeded in opening but six. I have no match for Master Rahati. You are our best hope, as it goes. Even so, you still one chakra short of 14, a s small yet decisive difference. If you are to, f to have a fighting chance, you must open the final chakra that eludes you, the seventh chakra of shadow. Last, this presents a dilemma. There is no way to do so outside of mortal combat. There will be another way. 
There always is. All our chakra can may not be open, but we have each other. Together, we may yet rescue Dezenza. Thank you, Wintergelt. I swear to do my utmost to aid you. That as well, but first, O Tuchaka must recover. We return to Revan's soul. There is much planning to do. A healer tells Uchaka, a healer tends Uchaka, Uchaka. When she is well enough, we will work to open our chakra. We both know how Uchaka fears her master. It is not normal, as she's warned. Wor as she's warned, words may not avail us. We must be prepared for anything. Continue your training, Nesigos, and together let us go forward as proud disciples of light. Elixir field. here. Regal has a theory on opening a chakra with the opposing aspect and is eager to put it to the test. Good tidings, brother. Tachaka has recovered. Together we spoke with Professor Eric. With his help, we sought ways to open chakra with the opposing aspect. Ways that require new dueling. Now, we have a theory. We will test it in the western highlands of Corthus, near a place called Dragonspit. Uchichaka has already left. Let us join her. place I haven't been yet. Well, crap. Maybe I won't be able to do this. I might have to do some main story quests in order to access it. Uh, let's quickly go to Foundation. See if I can access it anyways. Now the problem is I can't fly there. <laughs> I'm gonna have to walk. I have to do main story quests, but I'll be fine. I'll just not do these. Oh, maybe I can. <gasps> I can. Or not. Oh. That is a player. Okay, so alternative. No, I'm gonna I'm just gonna do the thing. Cause I, I think there's a a quick quest. Where am I going? Pillars. Oh uh, 
that. I think there's a point where where it splits off into two ways. And I think one of them allows me to go to Falcon's Nest, which is the spot in Corthos Western Highlands. This is your first time in the fair city. So pray permit me to show you the Hopalon. Um, from whence we may gaze upon the splendor of the Holy Vault. Though all other sights pale in comparison, it's only me that you see it first. I shall then show you around the jeweled cause Rosier. Here, yeah, well, where you may purchase all manners of goods and services before descending to Foundation's Aetherite Plaza. If there are no questions. I would kind of appreciate it if I could um, get the level 60 quest. Ah, Blanc, so named by the bronze uh, great shield borne by our nation's patron deity. It's the largest plaza in Nishgard. The magnificent cathedral to the north is, of course, the Holy Vault. The vault is both Ishgard's seat of government and the residence of the Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. Begging your pardon, the statue says, are they perchance in Thoden's famed Knights Twelve? Very good, Master of No. They are the the fathers of Ishgard, the brave knights who joined with Th King Thorden the first to put down Nidhogg and found his great nation. While this is a city rich in history and tradition, there is much you can learn by exploring the pillars, time permitting, of course. Now then, if you would follow me to the Jewel Crozier, I shall introduce you to Mistress Alain Alaise, our mas master of markets. Well, you're clearly not locals or traveling peddlers. One makes makes you all. Ah, words of house for Tom. How very interesting. Count Edmund has granted us leave to remain in Nishgard for as long as we wish, which may be some time. Accordingly, we will have need of sundry uh, goods, hence our desire to make your acquaintance. That is, of course, assuming you are content to accept customers the foreigners should should you be uncomfortable young sir we do not discriminate in matters of money if you have coin to spend who are we to receive it weapons armors accoutrements medicines materials whatever you desire can be found in the juke in the crozier uh, our merchants are more than happy to accommodate you as you shall soon see our next destination is the Aetherite Plaza and Foundation. If everyone is ready. Be going to bed soon. 
And here we have Foundation's Aetherite Plaza. If you have yet to attune with the Aetherite, be wise to do so now. I have. I don't need any of these. As for our next destination, the uh, ban I bought from the channels. Map you should decide to, together. What else can what else can be found nearby? The sky skill manufacturing stands to the west. The engineers conceive and manufacture weapons for use against the dragons. The holy stables where chocobos are trained for war also lie in that direction. To the north and east, you will find the congregation of our knights most heavenly, while in the, in the south and east, well, it would be best if we avoided that area. And why is that? I fear our not, knights may not be able to ensure your safety in the lowest levels, Master Afano. Hold your nose if you pass through the lord. A delicate flower like you is like to wilt in our fumes. You misjudge me, sir, for I am no lord but a humble traveler. Oh, come to see the sights, have you? Take a turn down the hoplon and and gawp at the statues. <laughs> yes, if you have a mind to learn how the better half live. I'm gonna have a drink at the Forgotten Night if your nurse made a let you. My humblest apologies, Master Alphano. Pray pay, pay that drunken lout no mind. Oh, but I must. It would not be it not do to refuse such a humble and heartfelt invitation. Yes, I simply must see this Forgotten Night for myself. I trust you see the wisdom in this, Essigos. There are few sources of information more abundant than a bustling local hostility. Not that I ex expect to hear any news of our missing comrades just yet. Nevertheless, who can say what we might learn of recent events? Then I'm coming too. Must say, this is rather unusual. Not just one, but a whole party of fresh new faces in my tavern. We but recently arrived in Ishkar and, uh, and are eager to acquaint ourselves with her uh, more notable establishments. Mr. Gibran. Gibran. Something like that. Just Gibran, do. And I'm flattered you think so highly of my establishment. I can promise I'll live up to your expectations by the decent food and drink you're after. You could do much worse. Judging by the number of customers I see, I suspect her fare is uh, rather more than decent. Speaking of your clientele, I could not help but note a difference between those who frequent the upper and lower floors. Spotted that, did you? Aye. 
Up here you find peddlers, porters, off-duty knights, and so forth, dropping in on their way, way to and from somewhere else. Regulars, maybe, but not locals. Folks from the broom who tend to congregate downstairs, where we offer a menu more suited to their tastes. Cheaper meals, stronger spirits, all quality, mind you, but not the sort of stuff I'd recommend to yourselves. You speak of the lowest levels, yes? Why do they call them the broom, if I may ask? Because when the weather's foul and the broom rolls in thick, it's the poor sods living in the bottom who have to deal with it. I see. And it's not just the weather. When the wyverns broke through the wards, they started tearing up the city. It was the broom that got the worst of it, while the pillars enjoyed the protection of the high houses and the temple knights. More than a few people were, are still sore, sore about that mind, which is why, considering your present your present company, I re recommend you keep your wits about you if you mean to go below, and something sharp in your boot, just to be sure. I shall take your words to heart, sir. Master Alphano, I think it would be best if we return to Full Tom Manor. You go on ahead without me. I'm staying for a drink or two. Mr. M M Miss Tataru, I I'm afraid this is out of the question. My lord, the Count would never forgive me if I abandoned one of his charges in such a place, least of all the maiden. What are you up to, Tataru? Look around, Alphano. This ta a tavern is full of people whose business regularly takes them beyond the gates of judgment. With friends like that, I could practically live here and wait for the newest gossip to come to me. Indeed, but will you be safe here on your own? Oh, please. Do you know how often I looked uh, looked after the waking sands and the rising stones by myself? If I had a gill for every unwelcome caller I'd given, I'd driven away, I'd be rich beyond my wildest dreams. I'll be fine. Not that I doubt the lady's knack for fending off unwanted advances, but I'll be damned if I'm going to let anyone lay an unwelcome hand on a patron in my establishment. That settles it then. Tataru, Esagos and I shall return to the matter for now. Contact me by Link Pearl if you require assistance. I will. If you can jump down, there's no reason to make steps. Take the steps. Especially when you're not in combat. Alright, I'm gonna go to bed. Because I'm tired. And it's an hour past my normal bedtime. Oh, that's right. Back to the, the guard. Get shine. Okay, finish up this quest and, and go. Tell us then, Master Alphano, does Ishgard meet to your expectations? That which I imagine pales in comparison to the reality, I felt the weight of the thousand years of history with every step I took. And when those steps took me past the scars left by the Wyverns and Foundation, I understood how easily that history could end in tragedy. The attack was devastating, the casualties unspeakable. Wyverns did not discriminate. Unarmed men and women, even children, were given no quarter. Sir Amrick has ordered the knights to strengthen our defenses, and each house has been called upon to lend what support it can. There is much to be done, yet alas... Able-bodied men and women are on short supply. Mayhap we could be of assistance, my lord. After all you have done, done for us, we would welcome your opportunity to repay your kindness. That is most generous offer, Master Alphano. You are guests of my house, to whom I have extended my hospitality without obligation. Let uh, obligation let or lean. Nevertheless, this god's need is great. If you are willing to aid our cause, I cannot well refuse. Good. What would you have you ask of us? From what I've heard, you are an 
You are an intelligent and persuasive young man. Such qualities may prove most useful to us in our efforts to secure provisions for foreign sources, identifying trustworthy suppliers, brokering contracts, and so on. As for you, Master Winsmore, I would ask for, ask for no better, no one better than a storied veteran such as yourself, a man with the capacity to act swiftly, act swiftly and decisively when needed, to aid Artorio and Emmeline, Emmelinian, as in their duties. I beg your pardon. I am more than capable of carrying out my duties by myself. I have no need for our guest assistance. Now, now, be reasonable, brother. What matter of foul, foul would say no when a famous hero offered to do his work? Hold your tongues. By the fury of the two, you will conduct yourself with the di dignity befitting your station and show Master Windsmall the the, the respect he deserves. This is the man who slew Gal Gaius Van Belsar and some half dozen primals besides. He is not here to steal your gl glory or serve as your errand boy. If you can pardon them their impropriety, Master Winsmall, I would. I should be more obliged if you would lend my sons a helping hand. I think. Fury willing, they may even learn something from you. Alright. <laughs> I'm standing right on top of Alpha now. <laughs> to see if we shall not want for employment over the coming days, though. So. That was never in doubt. Our host's initial re uh, reluctance to accept our offer of aid was solely for appearance sake. In truth, he is glad of this opportunity to put us to work. But by granting us patronage, uh, House of Tom has taken a tremendous risk. Until we demonstrate our worth to Ishgard at large, Count will face considerable opposition from his peers in matters great and small. And so he would have us publicly serve Ishgard with simultaneously keeping his sons in check. This is an arrangement we may benefit uh, from in unexpected ways. My own duties may feasibly bring me in contact with some people who know something of our missing comrades. And as you go about helping our, our two lords and various responsibilities, we'll inevitably make new acquaintances in Ishgard, maybe even new allies. Yes, the more I think of it, the more confident I am, I am that by furthering their goals, we shall further our own. And before we pick up these two, because we'll pick up both of them, because we have to do both of them anyways, um, I'm going to call for the end, because I'm 